welcome to Jigsaw at Home and today we're going to be doing our story time and we hope you enjoy the story and maybe join in at home as, um, and shout out if you see things that you recognise. So today our story is all about somebody who never had a pair of these. I don't know if many of you at home have got them, I'm sure you have. These belong to my uh, teddy in our house actually, but I expect that yours are much more brightly coloured. Maybe you've got monsters on them or they're pink and sparkly. I wonder how many of you were out splashing in your gardens on Saturday after all the rain on Friday. So the person in our story today never had a pair of wellies because where he lived it never rained. He'd never seen rain and his name was Noah and I've got a wooden character of Noah to show you. So here's Noah and his wife and Noah and his wife and their family where they lived it never rained. They'd never seen any rain or rivers or seas. But Noah was somebody who trusted God. He was a friend of God. He did everything that God asked him to do and he knew that God was good and God looked after Noah. And one day God said to Noah, I'm going to send a big flood on the earth. There's going to be lots of rain. And what I want you to do is to build a big boat for me. And so Noah said yes he trusted God and he began to build a big boat with his family and here's a picture of his boat that he made with his wife and his sons. So Noah and his wife and his sons made this huge boat and then God said I want you to put all the animals into your boat, lots of different kinds of animals and I'm going to keep you all safe in the boat. So Noah did just what God told him to do. Now I'm going to show you some of the animals that Noah had in his boat and maybe as I hold them up you might be able to shout out and tell me what kind of animals they are. See if you can guess how many can you get. So here's the first two that went in. Can you see those on the screen? Hopefully you're all shouting out they're cows aren't they? In the cows went into the ark. And then next, look, we've got another easy one. What are those? They're sheep, aren't they? So off the sheep went into the ark. Slightly harder one now. Who knows what these are? They're pandas. That's right, in the ark went the pandas. And then next we've got some stripy animals. Hopefully you can see they're tigers, those two. In they go. Hopefully they won't nibble anybody. And then a slightly harder one with a point on the end of his nose. Don't know if anyone can guess what they are. They're rhinos, so in the rhinos go. And we've got some animals with very tall necks. Can you see? The giraffes, in the giraffes go. Might be able to see them poking out of the ark. And then come some more stripy animals. Watch, what animal are these? These are zebras. In go the zebras. Oh, I wonder if you can guess. This, this animal appears in one of our songs, doesn't it? It's a crocodile, well done. A crocodile, in they go. A bit worried about the sheep now. Next, we've got some, that's right, horses. They were easy to guess, weren't they? And then some, an animal with a hump, a camel. That's well done. Two more. Here we've got a mummy and a daddy. Yes, well done, lions. They're lions, and they go. And finally, we've got some elephants. Wow, I hope there's going to be room for them in the ark. It's looking pretty full. Yep, they managed to squeeze in. Then when all the animals were in the ark, God said, well done, Noah, and uh, now I'm going to shut the door. And he shut the huge door of the ark to keep them all safe. So they were all safe. 
And then God sent the rain and it began to rain. And few, a little few drops to start with and then more and more rain started to fall over the ark and over the whole land. So much so that all Noah and his wife could see was water everywhere and it rained and it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. So there was a lot of water and off went the ark floating away on the water. But everybody was safe inside because God was keeping them safe. There we go. And then after 40 days and 40 nights of being inside the ark, God stopped the rain and the rain stopped and Noah looked out and all he could see was water. What was he going to do? Well, he waited and he waited and then Noah sent a bird to fly out and see if it could find any land. But the bird flew back with no leaves, nothing in its mouth. It hadn't found any land. And then a few more days and Noah sent out another bird. And when this bird came back, look, what's it got? Can you see it's got some leaves in its beak and it had found a tree and Noah knew then that there was going to be land soon. And after a while, the boat stopped and it was on some dry land. And then God opened the door and all the animals could come out of the ark. And then God said to Noah, look, I have kept you safe. I've looked after you and now I'm going to make a promise and in the sky God put a rainbow. Here's my rainbow. I think many of you have made rainbows at home, probably much better than mine. But God said this rainbow is to show my promise that I promise never to flood the earth again and that I will look after you. So God looked after Noah and kept him safe and his family. And the rainbow was a promise of God's faithfulness and that God would look after them and would never flood the earth again. So that's the end of our story time and hopefully you'll stay with us and we're going to do some singing now. Okay, good morning. Welcome to the singing time on Jigsaw. So we're going to sing uh, some songs, some of them ones we normally sing, but seeing as we didn't just want to do the same thing, we thought we might sing a couple of different songs as well, maybe even a new one. So, and of course, we've got some uh, happy birthdays to sing as well. So, we're going to start off though with, as always, the wheels on the bus. So, get your wheels ready and uh, let's sing, shall we? <laughs> Do it again. 
Right, let's have some sleeping bunnies, shall we? So everyone lie down on the floor. That's it, get down, get could be really quiet. Shh. Everyone asleep. Have you seen the bunny sleeping till it's nearly night? Shall we go? Stamp your feet and turn around and can go woo woo. Great, so here we go then, here we go. I reach up high, I touch the ground. seen the pussycat sitting on the wall okay you've got to be able to purr like a pussycat can you purr like a pussycat I can't do it can you roar like a lion we can do that can't we okay so you've got to be able to do that as well so You heard his terrible roar. One so big, one so small. I don't think Father cares for them all. One so big, one so small. I don't think Father cares. Have you seen the children coming home from school? Have you heard them shout? song now. This one's called You Give Me Joy, Such a Bubbly Joy. Now when you sing the word bubbly, you have to go bubbly, like that. So you give me joy, such a bubbly joy, that no one else can give me. You give me joy, such a bubbly joy, that no one else can give me. And then, I love to dance and run around. You can run around in a circle at that point. And I love to shout your name out loud. You give me joy, such a bubbly joy, that no one else can give me. Okay, and then the second verse says, I love to laugh. And you can get a big belly laugh. 
I love to laugh and clap my hands, and I love to, and I want to praise you through the land. And you praise your hands like this, and then you give me joy. So, it's, we'll sing it a few times over the next few weeks, so you'll get plenty of opportunity to learn it. This is the first time Ruth's ever sung it, so there you go. We'll see how she gets on with the actions. Are you ready? It goes like this. You give me joy, such a motherly joy, that no one else can give me. You give me joy, such a motherly joy, that no one else can give me. same house mm. in the same house so we had Sophie who it was, was four. four years old I used to be four and then we had Holly who was one one mm. so there we go and they're in the same house so hi Sophie hi Holly so we're gonna sing happy birthday to Sophie and Holly okay now if it's your birthday it, then let us know and we will sing happy birthday to you okay just email us or send us a message get your someone send us a message on facebook and we'll do that for you so here we go to sophie and holly ready happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear sophie and holly happy birthday Okay, so shall we row some boats? Let's row some boats together, shall we? I've got so, Mr. Snuffles today. Yeah, so if you've got someone you can hold hands with, then do that. If not, hold hands with a teddy bear or something like that. Here we go. Happy Don't want to fall in. Here we go. Rock, rock, rock the boat gently to and fro. Splish, splash, splish, splash into the water we go. Quick, get back in. There are crocodiles around.
Clap your hands, clap your feet, blow a kiss. Blow a kiss. We, we are. are. If you're happy and you know it's beautiful, clap your hands, clap your feet, blow some a kiss. We, we are. If you're happy and you know it's beautiful. Singing. the singing time again and we will be back in a, in a week or two and do some more don't forget to tell us if it's your birthday as well so that we can sing happy birthday okay so great bye, bye. for now bye